Welcome to the Auto Vigilante's Guide to Combat, Tape 1, Driving Basics. Published and distributed by the Auto Vigilante's Guild of America, all rights reserved. The most basic of skills to an Auto Vigilante is driving. This tape explores the three key components required to maneuver your vehicle about the combat area. Acceleration, braking, and steering. Before combat can commence, the driver must first enter the vehicle. To do so, simply approach the vehicle and press the X key. Excellent! The next step is to get acquainted with acceleration and braking. To accelerate, press the up arrow on the numerical keypad to your right or forward on the joystick. Note your speedometer here. See how it moves in relation to your speed. Now that you've accelerated, you will need to slow down by braking. Braking is an excellent technique used by many to avoid colliding with barriers and other vehicles. To brake, press 2 on the numerical keypad or pull back on the joystick. Good! The last vital component to driving consists of steering the car left and right. To steer the vehicle, press the left and right arrow keys on the numerical keypad or move the joystick left and right. Those using the keyboard may wish to tap on the key to avoid overturning. Overturning may cause the car to spin out at higher speeds. Now you are ready for the first test. Line up with the orange cones. Excellent! Now, when you are ready, serpentine your way through the cones. Become familiar with controlling vehicular speed while steering left and right. Avoid sliding or overpowering the curves. You have now completed the serpentine course, the first part in your training. If you feel your performance was lacking in any way, please rewind this tape and try again. You should now know the basic controls of your car, accelerating, braking, and steering. The next necessary skill to auto combat is finding your destination. You will do so through the use of a map and landmarks. To display your map, press the M key. Try it now. Good. Now look at the map. The identifier on the map shows your position. With this identifier and surrounding landmarks such as road signs, intersections, and towns, you can determine your location on the map. You are now in the Auto Vigilantes Guild training facility. Press M again to turn off your map display. Now, use both your map and landmarks to locate the Auto Vigilantes Guild practice racetrack. Remember to check your map and your surroundings for similar landmarks like intersections and road signs. Excellent! Now that you have found the practice track, drive on it. Get used to the rough terrain and the different surfaces. Can you feel the difference between asphalt and dirt? Successfully drive around the track three times and you will have completed the first take. With traversing hairpin turns, it is sometimes advantageous to slide the vehicle through the turn and face the opposite direction. To do this, use the emergency brake. Press Z when entering the bend. Overturn the wheel in the direction of the turn. The rear of the vehicle should slide around. As with any tricky maneuver, this takes practice. At high speeds, a vigilante's car will often become airborne. This is referred to as a jump. When jumping a vehicle, it is important to hit the ramp straight on and to accelerate through the jump. When jumping at a slant, the car could overturn landing upside down. If you do not accelerate through jumps, especially the longer ones, the nose of your vehicle may tip down, turning the car upside down, causing it to land on its roof yet again. Be careful of such pitfalls.
I deserve a gold star.